Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 2015 Mod Showcase with me, Kevin Sawyer. And today, I've got another little different mod for you guys. Um, ever got a bit fed up of your course play ploughing straight into an AI at a junction? Um, constantly going and having to go back and sort of like, or drive the other side of the map hoping that the uh, AI car will disappear and the course player get on its way. We've all done it haven't we? Um, anyway, I've got something that may help you guys. Um, and it is... Traffic lights. Yeah! Mobile traffic lights. Now, you're probably thinking, really, does this have any real... Um, any actual use, or is it just cosmetic? It is usable, and it does work with both the uh, AI traffic and course play and I'll show you how it works first of all I'll show you where you get it in your uh, uh, shop once you've downloaded it and unpacked it and put it into your mods folder you'll find it in MISC and you'll find it here and it costs uh, 3,500 pounds to buy and nothing per day the mods made by a, a guy called Alex2009 and uh, I'll put the uh, link in the description for you guys. Um, but first of all, let's uh, show you what it does. So you obviously walk up to it, and it says turn traffic lights on. If you put zero, and that's on your uh, keyboard, not on your numpad, but your keyboard keys, it's uh, key zero. And you'll, you'll get um, a series of options come off, come up. Sorry. Um, you'll see it says light traffic light phase zero in the top there, and you've got two phases: phase zero and phase one. Now I'll explain to you what that's for. If you've got like a junction with four sets of traffic lights, if you put one set of traffic lights um, on phase one and the other side a set of traffic lights on phase uh, zero, so if I show you what I mean in a second. Oh shit, what I mean, one of my little set that I've got going. Um, um, you basically it make sure that the that each road is covered in a sense. So if you put on one set of, on one road, you got one on set phase one. On the other road, you got phase zero. Anyway, uh, so you, that's how you select your different phases by pressing three again on the uh, keys on the keypad. Uh, it's free to select phases. Uh, phase, uh, sorry. Turns zero turns it back off and on again. So turns it back on. Um, phase six. Uh, sorry, it's phase five. Uh, turns flashing on and off. So um, number five. Basically, what I think that means is pretty much if the uh, say uh, there's a storm and uh, and or I think this applies in the states and maybe in Europe I'm not entirely sure um, but I wouldn't know um, but you'd have to correct me and tell me in the comments below but um, when it's flashing orange it basically means that the lights no longer take priority um, and the junctions more or less just cross um, when clear um, and I think that's what that means. Um, or if there's a problem with the lights itself, it goes under that flashing amber. Um, so that's key five. And the key six, pretty much, that holds the light on at a position. So if you've got it on the red light when you press key six, it'll stay red. And it always stays red. I guess if you wanted to stop traffic on a road or use that traffic light, say if you're doing some forestry on a near road and you need the traffic light to stop the traffic, um, you bring the traffic light up to the side of the road, press the red light and it should stop your AI traffic in both directions for you, or that one direction. If you wanted both directions, obviously you've um, blocked both sides of the road. But you press 6 again and it should then go back to its normal phase. And I believe you can lock it to green if you wish as well. Um, I haven't really played about with it. Um, 
Let's have a quick look, wait for it to go green. Might be a little while. It's like waiting for a red light, isn't it? Come on. Go green. Don't make a fool out of me. Press six again. Yeah, and see it now always goes constantly goes to stays on green, and it'll stay on green until you press six again, and it'll go back to the timer will start up again. Anyway, let's turn them off. Right, uh, I'll show you how manoeuvrable it is. I've got tractor down here for you guys. What I will say with you, it's quite a small trailer, um, so be careful going around the corners a bit. It is quite manoeuvrable, as you can see. So you can just take it wherever you like. I've set up a little course here on course play to show you guys how it works. One thing I will say to you, just be careful and mindful of the road posi uh, the position of the lights and where you want them because obviously if you've already got pre-set up courses going through that road make sure course play doesn't sort of like get snagged up with them. As you can see, it has stop at the light and it will wait at the traffic lights. And I'll quickly show you why it's waiting. See, I've got those, these ones. So this, this one here and the one opposite it is on phase one. On on this sort of road over here. This one is on phase zero. So you should see, basically, make sure whatever one that road is on it's on phase zero. One thing I will say to you guys sometimes course play does glitch out and uh, it won't it, it won't set off when the light goes green and or just here is an imaginary visible barrier comes up I guess it's so to stop the uh, AI traffic from going through whatever sometimes course play gets it wrong and it just slams straight into it and uh, you'll just see it st sitting there with its wheels spinning and spinning and spinning but as you see it does work with course play um, and I've got just a little course going up back and forth as you can see and it, tr it should sort of like basically hold up the traffic or let the traffic go depending on what the light conditions are as it see, is it working like a normal set of traffic lights were working. So just bear that in mind. If you've got four sets of lights, make sure that the lights all correctly phase together. And you'll get that little symbol there, um it's in traffic or is slipping. You'll not, and if you click over to it you'll either find it's by the traffic lights or it's uh or it's uh, slipping against the traffic lights. Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed the mod showcase, and if you did, please don't forget to like, and uh, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more mod showcases, please don't forget to subscribe. TTFN.